good. This is our uh, Vermont style hot spring powered by rotting wood chips and horse manure. Now before running it into raised beds in the greenhouse, we're testing it in a little hot tub set up here just to see how much hot water we're making. Here's the greenhouse at the Whole Systems Research Farm. We finished in uh, the fall 2012. It's designed to be passively heated via the sun and earth coupling only via ground temperature because the ground is a lot warmer than the air for nearly the entire winter here. That'll also help cool it in the summer. And then since we have a need for constantly growing soil anyways, and there's a lot of wood chips available for free nearby, people are always chipping up trees and dumping them. We take those chips, we pile them up, we compost them, and we also harvest a lot of horse manure that people give away for free. This is about 12 to 14 yards of wood chips and sawdust. The rest is horse manure, about three more yards of horse manure. We put 800 feet of three quarter inch poly tubing in the mound as a heat exchanger. Pump water through all that tubing, it picks up the temperature, it goes from about 45 degrees from the ground, where it comes from, which is our well. When it comes out of the mound, it's about 140 to 145 degrees. Wow, that is hot. Hot water coming out of compost. Just an amazing, amazing thing that there's that much biological heat coming out of this mound. And that there's all these compost piles and piles of wood chips rotting, wasting all of this heat. This is precious, amazing heat source. Tapping off of a compost pile. Being outside on a sunny day with two feet of snow on the ground, it's 20 degrees. There's plenty of warmth to go around. Multiple functions from single elements. Not a bad way to go, really.